Spino, bite his neck off! Harry! What? Harry, what? You're watching JP3 again? Why? It's a piece of shit. Wrong! It's good! Fact! Right. Come on, we need to go make that D-Rex video. Not now, this is the best part. C come on, Harry. Come on. Hey, whoa! Come on, Harry. Hey, guys. The Angry Art of Time here from Margie Reviews, and this is the first episode of Jurassic Theories. We're going to be covering the infamous Diabolus Rex. Now, before we begin, I want to cover some things about the name itself, Diabolus Rex. This has a possibility of being a stand-in name or a cone name for the animal. So don't take it at face value, it might be completely different in the movie. There also is a second name floating around the internet, it's Indominus, which means untamable. So, with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. When discussing the Diabolus Rex, there are two schools of thought. Those that believe the animal to be a hybrid Wrong. dinosaur. Wrong! What? And those that believe it to be a real dinosaur that we have not seen in a Jurassic Park film, like Allosaurus or Carnotaurus. So, what we're gonna do today is look at the evidence that backs up each of these theories and try to come to a conclusion. There is a third theory that states that the dinosaur could be a newly discovered one. One that through the process of cloning, Jurassic World staff has discovered. This would be a dinosaur that we have not seen in any Jurassic Park film or in the real world. But, alas, hey. there is not much evidence supporting this theory. Hey, what are you talking about over there? Okay, so the first theory we're gonna tackle is that the Diabolus Rex is a dinosaur hybrid. Uh. And the and the first piece of information, evidence, that we have to support this theory is what the Joe Blow leaker had, well, leaked. He described a dinosaur that was part raptor, part rex, part snake, and part cuttlefish. And there aren't many real dinosaurs that match this description. Just a few, and we'll cover those in a while. So, that's some pretty damning evidence, especially considering that most of what the Joe Blow leaker has, you know, leaked in the past, has been mostly true. Alright, let's look at the second piece. Okay, so the second piece of information we're going to look at is an interview that Contreroa held soon after the Joe leaks were made public. Here's a transcript. He had this to say about the leaks. That's the thing about leaks. Sometimes they aren't misinterpreted or false. They're real story elements that the filmmakers were hoping to introduce to the audiences in a darkened movie theater. When asked directly about the Diabolus Rex, he had this to say. We were hoping audiences would discover this on their own, but yes. There will be one new dinosaur created by the park's geneticists. They wanted something bigger, louder, and with more teeth. That's what they got. I know the idea of a modified dinosaur put a lot of fans on red alert, and I understand it, but we aren't doing anything that Michael Crichton did not suggest in his novels. So, Harry, wouldn't you agree that this, this is a pretty tiny piece of evidence? No, that's wrong. What do you mean this is wrong? There won't be any hybrids in the movie. That's ridiculous. Colin Trevor said that. It's a film's director. The film's director said that. No! All the dinosaurs will be completely real. And that's a fact. He just, he just said that. You're making this up. I'm not making this up. This is an interview he held. Fake! 
Um, let's continue. Okay, so the third piece of evidence that we have is not enormous, but it does add to the growing mountain of evidence that we do already have. It can be found in the Diabolus Rex paddock set in Hawaii. Behind one of the set pieces, one of the employees on the production spray painted D Rex HYB check number three. Some have theorized that HYB means hybrid, so it would be Diabolus Rex hybrid. Oh, that sounds ridiculous! Okay, let's move on to the fourth piece. Okay, so the next piece of evidence comes from JP Legacy. Ah, yes, JP Legacy, the infamous Jurassic Park fan forum. And this particular piece of evidence comes from a user called JP London. He stated that at the toy store that he works in in London, they had a lineup for the toys for 2015, and among these toys were the ones for Jurassic World. And among these toys for Jurassic World, there was a very interesting figure of a dinosaur that looked like a mix between a T-Rex and a Velociraptor. He said, and I quote, it looked like a GM'd T-Rex. That's a pretty close description of what a Diabolus Rex is theorized to look like. And it was confirmed much later on in what I'm going to talk about next. Okay, so the final piece of evidence we have can be found in the Toys R Us memo. I made an entire video about the memo, so if you want to see that, please click on Harry here. What? Hey, no, don't click on me. Grab that mouse away. Relax, Harry. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so in the Toys R Us memo, there was also included a list of Jurassic World toys, and among these toys was the big boy. Yes, the big boy. So this basically confirms what Jack, what JP London talked about on JP Legacy. Also included in the list were hybrids and mashers. Now think about it. Would they really make hybrid toys if they weren't in the movie? Not really. So that concludes our list for the evidence that supports the hybrid theory. So Harry, what do you think of all this evidence that I just presented to you? Wrong! It's a government conspiracy. You're making this up. It's not real. Government conspiracy? Yeah. Okay. Makes more sense than fucking hybrids. Alright. Nice, Harry. Let's move on to the theory regarding the Diabolus Rex being a known dinosaur, like a Carnotaurus or an Allosaurus. Yeah, and that's why it's bullshit. Very interesting theory, uh, Harry. Welcome back to the show, guys. Harry here has been trying to convince me that the Diabolus Rex is not a hybrid. In a horrible, terrible way, providing absolutely no evidence. Right, Harry? I gave you enough evidence already. Sure you did. Okay, uh, we're going to discuss now the other theory, the other camp, the other school of thought that thinks that the D-Rex might be a Carnotaurus or an Allosaur. Let's discuss why. Come with me for a second. Harry, stay there. Hey! The second theory involving the Diabolus Rex is that it is a known dinosaur, probably a Carnotaurus or an Allosaurus. Let me explain why. First, let's look at the name. Diabolus. Diablo. Devil. Horns. The Carnotaur had two very prominent horns on its head, leading some to believe that the Jurassic World staff named it the Diabolus because of these two very prominent features that make it look demon-like. Also, in the, in the Lost World novel, it was very prominently featured and had an ability that the Diabolus Rex also has, or is rumored to have, the ability to camouflage. But there is a problem. In the pictures we've seen of the Diabolus Rex paddock, there are very large three-clawed marks on all the walls. The Carnotaur had very small arms and only four claws, one more than the three clawed marks. So, how do we circumvent these problems? Well, some have theorized that instead of it being a Carnotaurus, it is an Allosaurus. Another dinosaur with very prominent cranial features, this time in the form of crests, that is slightly smaller but does have three claws in its arms and whose arms are long enough to create. But 
that's about it. There's not much else that, to back up that theory. So let's discuss the last theory a little quickly and see what Harry's up to. Come along. He left me. That jerk. Why did he leave me behind? I thought he cared for me. Okay, Harry, I'm back. Oh, hey, what, what the fuck are you doing here so soon? You're smoking again? Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Ugh, what have you been up to? I'm um, just waiting around. Not Be much. Oh, no, nothing. You've been smoking? Give me that. Oh. Hey! You're making ash everywhere, man. I'm Come still on. using that anyway. Oh, nice. Um, okay, so there isn't much evidence that supports the Carnotaurus, the Dibolus being a Carnotaurus or an Allosaur. What do you think about that? Well, it's a fact anyway. Even if there's no evidence supporting it? Yeah. Then it's not a fact, it's an opinion. Nope, it's real, it's right, I'm always right. Oh, okay then, if you say so, Harry. Okay, I'm gonna move you out of the way, is that fine? Hey, whoa! Okay, so, to finish off, we're gonna briefly cover the last theory, which is not a very popular theory, but it is out there, so I wanna, I wanna go over it. It's the one that states that the Diabolus Rex is a new dinosaur discovered by the Jurassic World scientists, like I mentioned before while you were there hiding behind my couch. Um, there's not much evidence to support this theory, but it does make sense. It does fit. They could have found this new dinosaur, and they could have given it the traits of a Velociraptor. I mean, sorry, it could have the traits of a Velociraptor, a T-Rex, a snake, and a cuttlefish. But, uh, I don't know, for some reason I don't feel that, that, that like that's very likely. So, there's that. That would have to be the worst theory of them all. Really? You think so? Yeah. You worse mean? than the hybrid one. Worse than the hybrid one. I never think I, I never thought I'd hear you say that. Well, it's a fact, so take it. Everything's a fact for you. Always. And you're always wrong, too. I won't, oh, okay. That's, that's good insight, Harry. Okay, so final thoughts. I personally believe that the Diabolus Rex will be a hybrid animal. All the evidence points towards that. So, I have to concede, and even though I may not like it, I have to agree that the Diabolus Rex will probably be a hybrid dinosaur. So, Harry, what do you think of all this? It better not be a fucking hybrid. And what if it is? It's probably your fault. You must have had something to do with it. Mmm, part of your big uh, conspiracy you have going on there? Yeah, and that's a fact. Everything's a fact. Always. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And please let me know if you want to see more Jurassic theories in the comments down below. And remember to like and subscribe to my channel for more Jurassic World related videos. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. And if you thought it was a hybrid, screw you. Signing out.